Chess friends, Mikhail Tal is the one of the greatest chess player in history. I am one of his fan because 80% of his games are full of sacrifices and full of big tactics, today I will show you his best sacrificing chess game of 1988. Success is most often achieved by those who don't know that failure is inevitable, so let's go, Mikhail Tal started the game with e4, we have e5, knight f3 knight c6 bishop goes out to c4, getting the diagonal and he can push his d-pawn to involve his knight to attack it, we have knight f6 which is called, two knights defense in Italian variation, you may play knight g5 then black will strike the center with d5, so Milkhale Tal played d4. It's not considerable because after doing center pawn and piece exchanges, it will be a drawable position, so jack played d6, pawn takes and d takes e5 will lead you into a queen exchange, he played knight takes pawn, here you may think, playing queen d5 is the best move because it's attacks to the king pawn and targeting to the knight, therefore black will play bishop e6 to target it, queen takes e4 then d5 will come to take back his material. That is not beneficial for white so Tal decided to sacrifice his frist material on f7, king takes f7 queen d5 check, bishop blocks queen takes e4, bishop here castle d5, the king position is in bad condition so it's better to put the queen on king file, but Tal decided to play queen d3, activating the queen on this file and diagonal, queen d7 rook e1, Tal idea is to play bishop g5 then after takes takes the knight will create solid problems for black. Jack played rook f8 to activate his rook on this file, knight c3 king e8, bishop g5 is the best move here let me show you the variation, then after takes knight takes g5, you may ask white where is the attack by playing h6, takes takes knight takes d5, knight takes pawn with a king queen fork is an incoming threat, so rook f7 to protect it, queen b3 to target this pawn and threatening to take the pawn with a discover attack to the queen and a check, so king f8 rook d1 to use the file. The king isn't in safe position and the knight can bombard you, but in our actual game, Tal played knight g5 instead of bishop g5, bishop c5 by black, knight takes e6 and black played bishop takes f2 check first to target this, king h1, bishop takes e1, here best move is to play knight takes d5, let me show you the variation, knight takes d5 then queen takes d5, it's not queen takes queen because rook f1 check will mate you, it's knight takes c7 with a queen king fork. Black would be destroyed but in this position, Tal didn't play knight takes d5, he played knight takes rook, which is a completely idiotic move because not black have many moves to consider, first he have the open file, Knight can jump here to fork your queen and pawn and the bishop can take the knight, computer suggests that Tal have only two moves to consider, whether bishop d2 or e3 but you know what, Tal is Tal, magician of chess, he played bishop g5. To get the diagonal, Jack said, so what, I have knight b4 to target your pieces, queen e2 knight takes c2, to support the bishop and target to the rook, queen can't take the knight, let me show you why, Rook f1 will nightmare you, so in this position we have e6 by Tal to target the queen, here best move for black is to play queen c6, then after rook d1 to target the pawn, black will move up the pawn with the supporting of the knight, game would continue like this but in our actual game. Jack is not like stockfish, he is a simple human like you and donkey, he played queen d5 instead of queen c6, now Tal get a chance to play killer move knight b5 to target the queen and the pawn, if you play queen c5 then white will push the pawn, knight takes pawn will win up the dark square bishop, so if queen takes b4 happen then knight takes pawn will checkmate you with knight bishop and a pawn, that's the reason why Mikhail Tal plant his bishop on g5 square long time ago. Tal knows that stockfish will analyze my game 35 years later, so chess friends, you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel where you will get amazing contents from me, back to the position, we have queen e5, the queen can't take the queen because of rook f1 checkmate, so he have h4 to create breathing room, now if you dare to take the queen on e2, then knight takes c7 will mate you. It's fine to celebrate success but it is more important to heed the lessons of failure, so back to the position, we have queen g3 to support the bishop and threatening to take the rook, so rook d1, rook goes to f2 to target the queen, it's a chess puzzle time, look at the position, 
the pawn and the bishop is covering all the king escaping squares, the queen is protecting to the pawn from the knight, so what should white do now? If you find queen takes knight then congratulation, you are correct, the queen can't move so after bishop takes f2, the problem is not over yet, what should white play now? Okay if you find rook takes pawn, then you are absolutely right, checkmate is unstoppable, the queen can't give a single check to the king, if black decided to play queen d6, then after takes takes, knight c7 check, the king have no square to go so after king f8, e7 king f8, pawn promoted into a new queen, it will be a checkmate, so back to the position, we have queen takes h4, takes takes, knight takes c7, king slides rook check, bishop blocks, rook d5 a5, rook d7 knight here rook check king g8, rook takes bishop, he sacrificed the rook, if you waste your time to take it, then white will promote his queen with knight support, so knight c6. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.